The Solomon Islands Campaign was a major campaign of the Pacific War of World War II. The campaign began with Japanese landings and occupation of several areas in the British Solomon Islands and Bougainville, in the territory of New Guinea, during the first six months of 1942. The Japanese occupied these locations and began the construction of several naval and air bases with the goals of protecting the flank of the Japanese offensive in New Guinea, establishing a security barrier for the major Japanese base at Rabaul on New Britain, and providing bases for interdicting supply lines between the Allied powers of the United States and Australia and New Zealand. The Allies, to defend their communication and supply lines in the South Pacific, supported a counteroffensive in New Guinea, isolated the Japanese base at Rabaul, and counterattacked the Japanese in the Solomons with landings on Guadalcanal, see Guadalcanal campaign and small neighboring islands on 7 August 1942. These landings initiated a series of combined arms battles between the two adversaries, beginning with the Guadalcanal landing and continuing with several battles in the central and northern Solomons, on and around New Georgia Island, and Bougainville Island. In a campaign of attrition fought on land, on sea, and in the air, the Allies wore the Japanese down, inflicting irreplaceable losses on Japanese military assets. The Allies retook some of the Solomon Islands although resistance continued until the end of the war, and they also isolated and neutralized some Japanese positions, which were then bypassed. The Solomon Islands campaign then converged with the New Guinea campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Background Strategic <laughs> 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 Background <laughs> 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 On December 7, 1941, after failing to resolve a dispute with the United States over Japan's actions in China and French Indochina, the Japanese attacked the U.S. Pacific Fleet at Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. The attack crippled most of the U.S. Pacific Fleet's battleships and started a formal state of war between the two nations. Attacks on British Empire possessions in the Pacific, beginning with an attack on Hong Kong almost simultaneous with the Pearl Harbor attack, brought the United Kingdom, Australia and New Zealand into the conflict. In launching this war, Japanese leaders sought to neutralize the U.S. fleet, seize possessions rich in natural resources, and obtain strategic military bases to defend their far-flung empire. In the words of the Japanese Navy's Combined Fleet Secret Order No. 1, dated November 1, 1941, the goals of the initial Japanese campaigns in the impending war were to eject British and American strength from the Netherlands, Indies and the Philippines, and to establish a policy of autonomous self-sufficiency and economic independence. The Empire of Japan accomplished its initial strategic objectives in the first six months of the war, capturing the Philippines, Thailand, Malaya, Singapore, the Dutch East Indies, Wake Island, New Britain, the Gilbert Islands, and Guam. A Japanese goal was to establish an effective defensive perimeter from British India on the west, through the Dutch East Indies on the south, and to island bases in the South and Central Pacific as its southeastern line of defense. Anchoring its defensive positions in the South Pacific was the major Japanese Army and Navy base at Rabaul, New Britain, which had been captured from the Australians in January 1942. In March and April, Japanese forces occupied and began constructing an airfield at Buka in northern Bougainville, as well as an airfield and naval base at Buin, in southern Bougainville. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese advance into the Solomons In April 1942, the Japanese Army and Navy together initiated Operation Mo, a joint plan to capture Port Moresby in New Guinea. Also part of the plan was a Navy operation to capture Tulagi in the Southern Solomons. The objective of the operation was for the Japanese to extend their southern perimeter and to establish bases to support possible future advances to seize Nauru, Ocean Island, New Caledonia, Fiji, and Samoa and thereby cut the supply lines between Australia and the United States, with the goal of reducing or eliminating Australia as a threat to Japanese positions in the South Pacific. The Japanese Navy also proposed a future invasion of Australia, but the Army answered that it currently lacked enough troops to support such an operation. Japanese naval forces successfully captured Tulagi, but its invasion of Port Moresby was repulsed at the Battle of the Coral Sea. Shortly thereafter, the Japanese Navy established small garrisons on the other northern and central Solomon Islands. 
One month later, the Japanese combined fleet lost four of its fleet aircraft carriers at the Battle of Midway. The Allies countered the threats to Australia by a buildup of troops and aircraft, with the aim of implementing plans to approach and reconquer the Philippines. In March 1942, Admiral Ernest King, then commander in chief of the U.S. fleet, had advocated an offense from New Hebrides through the Solomon Islands to the Bismarck Archipelago. Following the victory at Midway, General Douglas MacArthur, who had taken command of the South West Pacific area, proposed a lightning offense to retake Rabaul, which the Japanese were fortifying and using as a base of operations. The United States Navy advocated a more gradual approach from New Guinea and up the Solomon Island chain. These competing proposals were resolved by Admiral King and U.S. Army Chief of Staff General George C. Marshall, who adopted a three-task plan. Task 1 was the capture of the island of Tulagi in the Solomons. Task 2 was an advance along the New Guinea coast. Task 3 was the capture of Rabaul. Task 1, implemented by a directive of the Joint Chiefs of Staff on 2 July 1942 and named the initial attacks Operation Watchtower, became the Solomon Islands Campaign. Topic. Course of campaign On 7 August 1942 U.S. Marines landed on Guadalcanal, beginning the Guadalcanal Campaign. The Allies created a combined air formation, the Cactus Air Force, establishing air superiority during daylight hours. The Japanese then resorted to nightly resupply missions which they called, Rat Transportation, and the Allies called, The Tokyo Express, through New Georgia Sound, a.k.a. The Slot. Many pitched battles were fought trying to stop Japanese supplies from getting through. So many ships were lost by both sides during the Guadalcanal campaign that the southern end of New Georgia Sound, the area north of Guadalcanal previously called Savo Sound, became known as Ironbottom Sound. Allied success in the Solomon Islands campaign prevented the Japanese from cutting Australia and New Zealand off from the U.S. Operation Cartwheel. The Allied Grand Strategy for the Solomons and New Guinea Campaigns — launched on June 30, 1943, isolated and neutralized Rabaul and destroyed much of Japan's sea and air supremacy. This opened the way for Allied forces to recapture the Philippines and cut off Japan from its crucial resource areas in the Netherlands' East Indies. The Solomons' campaign culminated in the often bitter fighting of the Bougainville Campaign, which continued until the end of the war. Topic. See also New Guinea Campaign New Britain Campaign Gilbert and Marshall Islands Campaign Guadalcanal Campaign Operation Vengeance Airsols Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic. Sources Topic. External links Browning, Robert M., Jr., 1999. The Coast Guard and the Pacific War. PDF. U.S. Coast Guard Photography. U.S. Coast Guard. Retrieved 7 December 2006. Bullard, Stephen, Translator, 2007. Japanese Army Operations in the South Pacific Area New Britain and Papua Campaigns, 1942-43. Canberra, Australian War Memorial. ISBN 978-0-9751904-8-7, translation of excerpts from the Senshi Sosho. Chapin, John C. Top of the Ladder, Marine Operations in the Northern Solomons. World War II Commemorative Series. Marine Corps History and Museums Division. P. 1. Retrieved August 30, 2006. Also available at 1. Craven, Wesley Frank, James Lee Kate. Volume. IV, The Pacific, Guadalcanal to Saipan, August 1942 to July 1944. The Army Air Forces in World War II. U.S. Office of Air Force History. Retrieved October 20, 2006. Dyer, George Carroll. The Amphibians Came to Conquer, The Story of Admiral Richmond Kelly Turner. United States Government Printing Office. Retrieved October 20, 2006.
Gillespie, Oliver A. The Official History of New Zealand in the Second World War, 1939–1945, The Battle for the Solomons Chapter 7. New Zealand Electronic Text Centre. Retrieved July 11, 2006. Hoffman, John T. From Mackin to Bougainville, Marine Raiders in the Pacific War. Brochure. World War II Commemorative Series. Marine Corps Historical Center. Retrieved 29 August 2006. Lofgren, Stephen J. Northern Solomons. The U.S. Army Campaigns of World War II. United States Army Center of Military History. Melson, Charles D. 1993. Up the Slot, Marines in the Central Solomons. World War II Commemorative Series. History and Museums Division, Headquarters, U.S. Marine Corps. P. 36. Retrieved September 26, 2006. Miller, John Jr. 1959. Cartwheel, The Reduction of Rabaul. United States Army in World War II, The War in the Pacific. Office of the Chief of Military History, U.S. Department of the Army. P. 418. Retrieved October 20, 2006. Mursky, Peter B. 1993. Time of the Aces, Marine Pilots in the Solomons, 1942-1944. Marines in World War II Commemorative Series. History and Museums Division, Headquarters, U.S. Marine Corps. Retrieved October 20, 2006. Rents, John. 1952. Marines in the Central Solomons. Historical Branch, Headquarters, U.S. Marine Corps. Retrieved May 30, 2006. Shaw, Henry I, Douglas T. Kane. Volume 2, Isolation of Rabaul. History of U.S. Marine Corps Operations in World War II. Retrieved 18 October 2006. WW2DB, Solomon's Campaign. Japanese Operations in the Southwest Pacific Area, Volume 2, Part 1 Reports of General MacArthur. United States Army Center of Military History. 2004 1950. Retrieved 8 December 2006, translation of the official record by the Japanese Demobilization Bureau detailing the Imperial Japanese Army and Navy's participation in the Southwest Pacific Area of the Pacific War. U.S. Army Air Forces 1992. Pacific Counterblow, the 11th Bombardment Group and the 67th Fighter Squadron in the Battle for Guadalcanal. Wings at War, reissue ed. Office of Assistant Chief of Air Staff, Intelligence. Retrieved 8 December 2006. U.S. Army Air Forces, July 1945. Guadalcanal and the Origins of the 13th Air Force, PDF. Office of Assistant Chief of Air Staff, Intelligence, Historical Division. Archived from the original PDF on 28 April 2007. Retrieved 8 December 2006. Topic further reading Australian War Memorial. Secondary Bibliography by Author Bibliography of Japanese Language Sources. Australia-Japan Research Project. Retrieved 6 November 2008. Crawford, John. 1992. New Zealand's Pacific Frontline, Guadalcanal Solomon Islands Campaign, 1942-45. New Zealand Defence Force. ISBN 0-473-01537-4. Hungerford, T. A. G. The Ridge and the River. Sydney, Angus and Robertson. Republished by Penguin, 1992, ISBN 0-14-300174-4. Kwai, Anna Annie. 2017. Solomon Islanders in World War II: An Indigenous Perspective. Canberra, Australian National University Press. ISBN 9 trillion 781 billion 760 million 461 thousand 669. 